Imagine someone has put an invisible choker collar on you that's connected to a huge heavy chain. And every time they want to force you to do something, they just tug on that chain and tighten that collar. And you immediately comply to make them ease up on the pain. This is how your narcissistic child uses guilt to manipulate you. Now, here's the crazy thing. You do actually have fond memories of your child being happy with that smile and that laugh that could brighten up any room. But at some point, without notice, it changed during their teen years. Maybe there was a divorce and now they blame you for the other parent's emotional abandonment. Whatever the case, all you know is their treatment towards you has become cold, abusive, and distant. Their demands are never ending, their temper unpredictable, and they're going to twist every situation to make everything your fault. Now, if you ever make the mistake of refusing their unreasonable requests, okay, when they want you to go stand in the middle of traffic for them, okay, they're going to remind you. Every sacrifice you didn't make, every time they felt unloved and unseen, warping memories into weapons. Now, the guilt is suffocating. You ask yourself repeatedly, is this really my fault? I mean, did I really fail them as a parent? Now, you've asked your friends, your family, even your other kids, are the things they're saying about me true? And nobody is cooperating this story. Now, you've apologized. You've given thousands of dollars. You've sacrificed in every way to try to make up for it. But guess what? Nothing is ever good enough. Well, today I want to help free you from that choker of guilt that you've been wearing. First of all, you got to realize the truth that's going to set you free, which is it's not your fault. Your child is making a conscious choice to stay stuck. Now, were you the perfect parent? No, but no parent is perfect. We have all fallen short. Uh, maybe you had three or four other kids working two or three jobs. I mean, your parents weren't perfect either, but we don't see you out here playing the victim. You have to learn how to forgive yourself for not being perfect. The serenity prayer says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You have to put up firm boundaries with your narcissistic child and let them know, hey, you have to be responsible for seeking your own healing in a healthy and not blaming way, letting them know you will always be willing to support them while no longer enabling their toxic behavior. Now, you may be saying, this guilt has been killing me for years and I have tried everything, no matter what I try, no matter what I do, no matter what I give, it's just not good. All I want is a connection with my child again. That's all I want. I get it and I hear you and it's tearing you up. But check out, you have got to set yourself free. So listen, go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Schedule your free 30-minute consultation so you and I, we can have a conversation. And I'm going to tell you how coaching is going to help you. It's going to help set you free from that choking grip of guilt. All right. So if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share. Y'all take care. Peace.